it was originally written, set into a, like a, a forest location that we just knew we could get. And every iteration of the script was based on what locations we could eventually find or we knew we could secure. <coughs> but as we watched yourself and a number of other filmmakers we admired go through Kickstarter, we thought, well, we can raise a little bit of money. We can hire. So we could. We could hire somebody to help us shoot it. We could rent some equipment. So we went on. We we set up a very small base of just um, twenty five hundred dollars. We wanted to raise, um, which would have been probably just a couple of light rentals and a camera rental. And we ended up rent, we ended up raising just a little over seven thousand um, dollars, which was really tremendous. And we did it. We rate. We broke our. We broke our goal. I think in seven days. And then we had another, uh, we set a 30-day limit, so we had the rest of the month just to, just to bring in um, some extra funds. So once we had that money, we were able to, the bulk of the budget actually went to the warehouse location, which is in a great location downtown, right at the 7th Street Bridge. Uh, and that was a fifth of the budget, was renting that for 10 hours. Um, yeah, so Kickstarter's great. Do a donation for people all over the country that we Zero contact with, and I don't. I don't know how that. Whether it's between Facebook and Twitter and just the Kickstarter site, but um, and I think just banking people and just observe other people's campaigns. Have an angel, like have a strategy for it, where you know on your when you first open it up, you're gonna have a couple people who are close to you who are gonna put a little money in first just to get it started. Started, and at the end, just know that you have somebody who can come in and sweep in with some money in case you need to get over it. Now we weren't raising a ton of money, so. I'm not sure how it would work if you're raising $100,000, but for us, that certainly worked. Make yeah, sure to include everyone who, um, who uh, was so generous to give us money to Kickstarter to give them the executive producer credit. So thank you, everyone who's out there. And the, the great thing about Kickstarter is it made us feel, it, it emboldened us to actually go get other actors and bring them in, like Marissa and Christopher and Serena and, and Brian Burnett. It felt, it just gave us, it, it felt like a little bit more, uh, Cachet, where instead of just Todd and I shooting in a bedroom pretending we were doing something with little cameras. Super hot. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, just wait till you get that DVD. It's a whole special. other movie. Yeah. But it, 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 just, it, just, it just gave us a nice little boost to be able to go out to other actors and say, hey, we're doing this, and when you show up on set, you know, it, it, there will be a set. <laughs> you know, one of the crew members that you ended up getting on board, he wasn't necessarily your first choice, but he became the muscle man that helped drive this project from, you know, from beginning to end. You know, he's on the end, our guy Casey, um, and he was telling me before the stream guys that he just loves filmmaking, you know, and, 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 he, and he's a filmmaker himself, and yet here we are tonight, first time seeing one of his works on the big screen. You know, which I'm just super excited for Casey. Casey, can you talk a little bit about how you feel here tonight? Um, first, I gotta say, I guess uh, I'm extremely honored to be here. Um, I've been wanting to do this my whole life, uh, but by the time I was 18, I found my way into being a carpenter. And to have two guys who took a chance on me, because I had never had done a short film, I'd done a lot of music videos, and I mostly my face was in editing, but my whole life I wanted to be a filmmaker. And I had been working on shooting, and it it dropped the way they came in. The, the, the guy they had dropped out and, hey, can you do it? And I said, yeah, sure, I'd love to, but I can't shoot tomorrow. It's my anniversary and my wife will kill me. It's our first anniversary, so I can't do it. But then everything worked out to where within three days we, sh we shot this film. And I, 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 you guys know, when you're on set, there's, there's nothing like the creative composure that everybody brings. It's just, could you have a better job? I mean, is there? I, I, I spent a lot of my, my life in ditches and, and pouring concrete for, for giant buildings that, that everyone gets to walk in all the time. And uh, this is the best damn thing there ever is in the whole world. There's, there's <laughs> nothing else. Like this, why, why would you say yes? You know, I'm sure a lot of folks would know, like, I would love to get a recognized black there in one of my projects. Why, why would you say yes to this one? Or why did you? I, I just I responded to the script. So that's it. Todd uh, gave me a call, shot me an email, uh, talked a little bit about it, and uh, sent me a script. And I love the script. The script had purpose, it had a point of view, and that's it. If it's got those things, and I know that everybody's serious and not messing around, then I'm in. That's it. I'm I'm a big fan and a big supporter of the independent spirit in the film. Um, I'm not in for the money. I was in it for what 
Brian's vision was and what he wanted to do. And it was all there on the page. That simple. Oh, and for Marissa and Serena, how, how did how did you learn of the project, and then why did you why did you ladies get involved? Uh, well, I've known Tom for for many years, um, but I, I responded to the script as well. Um, I have a, a friend of mine that I used to work with. She lives in Virginia now, but she's married to a Navy SEAL, and um, we had many conversations when she was when she started dating him and you know, whether she was going to marry him and how her life would be to, to sort of have her husband go off on these missions and then he may never come back. So um, I wanted to play that role and kind of bring an essence of her into, uh, into the role. And Serena? Um, well, Brian and I were in an acting studio together and he brought the project to me and brought the script to me and I also just responded to it. I mean, I read it and it was very moving and truthful and, and had a message and just really wanted to be a part of it. Did you think this one, I, I know you've been involved with this, with this one from the early, early days, did, did, you, did you think this would ever get made? Uh, I, I, I thought it would get made when I read the first short version. Right? Not that the feature version isn't going to happen, but it became clear to us that we needed to, uh, to simply make something first instead of having this ideal version of a feature film, which is kind of an impossible thing to accomplish your first time out. So we basically were like, well, let's, let's tell a story uh, with these two guys and, and see what we can learn by, by making that film. And even the version that, that was up here tonight is very different from, from the first version of the short film. Uh, we almost ended up like flying to Mexico City uh, on a van with a completely different cinematographer than the summer before last. And thankfully, that didn't transpire. Well, or I don't think it would have been uh, cohesive. The initial idea of Jacob as a character uh, it was actually a feature strip from 2004. Um, and it's a completely different world. It's not a completely different world. It's the same character, but you don't really learn too much about him in the feature. It's basically prior to the events in this, um, and it's him learning why he's become what he's become. Um, so over that, and I, it's come and gone. I'm sure we've all had scripts that we bring out and we put away, and we bring out and we put away. And uh, this was about a year, though, of just honing this down as a, as a short film. I have a, like a long process where it has to kind of sit in my head and then come out and sit in my head. But it, yeah, initially it had been set in a different, they had been sent to a, on a mission to Latin America, and then I decided I couldn't go to Latin America. It was a little unfeasible, even with our $7,000. And um, yeah, it was a long process, but it's the, that's the, be it's the best when you're patient with it, because eventually you'll find something that's better than if you're not patient with it.